what's up YouTube John here thank you for joining blue carbon reefing uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what is going on with the tank and of course as you saw at the beginning of the video I got a new toy which is the DJI Osmo 2 uh, which is basically a gimbal for your cell phone um, You'll see some of the parts of this video, I'm kind of playing with it, trying to get used to it, but uh, some of the, this video will be uh, taken with the gimbal, and uh, of course some of it was not, but basically just kind of messing around with it, but it's always cool to kind of get some new toys, hopefully it'll bring you a little bit better quality video. Uh, so I'm going to start with the bad, and then I'm going to get to some of the good of what's going on with the tank, very simple. Uh, as you can see here, I'm actually testing, if you've watched my previous videos, uh, I made this makeshift nit nitrate reactor with the extra sulfate uh, media and kind of running it through a couple of reactors. And it's been up and running now for about 20 days. Uh, I've been testing the effluent coming out of the reactors or the second chamber. And um, as you can see here, as this goes through the test, I am still getting 80 parts per million nitrate. So I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe the experts out there, Daily Reefing, giving you a shout out who helped me with this to get it started. It's been 20 days, not sure what's going on. Uh, I have this slowed down to uh, one drop every six seconds. So still getting from the affluent over 80 parts per million. So I'm not sure how long it should take, but kind of give you an idea of what's going on there. Now, what I have noticed, which I'm not sure if this is good or bad, uh, the refugium, every single day, as you can see, I'm getting a ton of uh, algae kind of floating to the top of the refugium. Uh, I'm actually taking a net every single day and cleaning this stuff out. Uh, it is a slimy, uh, almost like cyanobacteria type of uh, algae growing um, and it's floating to the surface of the water and every single day I've been taking a net now and kind of scooping it out. Uh, the You can't really see it well on the video but the outskirts of the tank is also completely covered in bubbles. Uh, my thought in my head also is maybe it's nitrogen gas that's starting to bubble out uh, but Positive news, since I've been dosing the manganese and iron, I've actually seen some growth on the Ketomorpha. I originally had uh, like five balls I kind of separated into uh, two larger ones and three smaller ones, and everything is starting to grow a little bit. So I'm hoping uh, as that continues to grow, I continue to dose that manganese and iron, uh, the Ketomorpha will continue to grow and continue to eat up nutrients. Uh, one thing I have noticed with, and I have no idea whether or not this has something to do with the nitrate reactor is my alkalinity has dropped a little bit. I'm normally running between uh, 8.2, 8.3, and it's dropped into the sevens. Uh, let's say 7.4 is the last time I tested it. So it has been dropping uh, as well as my phosphate actually has been going up a little bit. Last time I tested, I was 0 0.07, and I'm normally running between 0 0.03 and 0 0.05. So not sure if any of that has to do with the nitrate reactor or just what's going on with the tank. Uh, I have not added any new fish, but um, I do have a couple in quarantine. I'll show you here in a second. So I'm not going to go into the actual quarantine process, but basically I take a few days to raise the copper up. As of today, it is now up to what I would call the therapeutic level. So I'm only going to run copper for about two weeks because... I have um, not seen a single sign of any kind of parasites or anything wrong with the fish, so I don't necessarily want to run copper for 30 days if I don't have to. I'll probably keep in the tank for another few weeks after I take the copper out just to make sure 100% everything is good. So um, just giving you a little bit of uh, an overview. That's it. Short and sweet today. I'm just going to give you a little bit of eye candy as we exit this video, but uh, stay tuned. I will give you more updates as we progress. We will get these nitrates under control one way or another. Um, so I really appreciate you guys sticking by with me. Uh, I'm going to um, continue to put out videos every single week. So if this is your first time here, you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy reefing. What's up, little girl?